myself. Today, I would like to introduce a study on seducing spirits. Seducing spirits are deceiving demons. They falsely represent Christ as if they are Christ to deceive even the elect. They operate under the strongholds of principalities or the doctrines of Balaam. The word Balaam in the Greek means a nation of seducing spirits. It is a deceiving demon, an imposter. The seducing spirit will not allow itself to be casted out. Hence why the American gospel does not allow the full gospel in its churches. I believe this spirit has manifested itself a false light. The demon knows the word of God. It is in the American gospel. It is theology. I might be wrong. However, I choose to walk away and come out of the American gospel to pursue unity with one spirit, which is the Holy Spirit. Why am I saying this? And why am I not attending the American gospel church? One who is under the, I believe it is the doctrine of Balaam. This is why I chose to leave. Absolutely. So there is a fire under the deception spirit. Your children are not encouraged to engage in spiritual warfare under the doctrine of Balaam. They are told to come into unity of all denominations. Nope, not here. Jesus says he is the way, the truth, and the life. We must be casting devils out, as Jesus mentions in Mark sixteen seventeen, which is actually the gospel, which has been expelled by the false prophets we see leading the American churches. The American gospel tolerates death detestable customs of the new age. Here they are, fortune telling, burnt offerings, sorcery, casting spells. The false brethren are unaware they are casting spells due to the seducing spirits that lead them, functioning under mediums, summonsing spirits of the dead, psychic readings. Your church is unaware they operate as such as they engage in omens and they pass this demon onto you as they engage with these omens. This is real stuff, beloved. You are not on fire for the Lord. It might be because you're under a seducing spirit and under the doctrine of Balaam. There's hope. Repent, come to Jesus. Here's the scriptures to back up my claim. Deuteronomy 18, nine to 14. When you enter the land of the Lord your God is giving you, be very careful not to imitate the detestable customs of the nations living there. For example, never sacrifice your sons and daughters as burnt offerings. Do not let your people practice fortune telling or use sorcery or interpret omens or engage in witchcraft or cast spells or function as mediums or psychics or call forth the spirits of the dead. That is necromancy. Anyone who does these things is detestable to, th to the Lord. It is because other nations have done these, thi these detestable things that the Lord your God will drive them out ahead of you. But you must be blameless before the Lord your God. The nations you are about to displace consult sorcerers, fortune tellers, but the Lord your God forbids you to do such things. In 1 Timothy 4, 1 to 2, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits, the doctrines of devils, lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Be blessed.